Architecture is one of the hardest professions to get started in. But before you go out and buy every software imaginable, you should understand which software you actually need. This can be overwhelming, especially when you realize the cost of the software can reach upwards of $100, $500, and $1,000. And you don't even know if the initial investment is going to be worth it in the end. After spending thousands of dollars teaching myself all the best architecture softwares through six years of architecture school, I realized I could have done it all with only $50. So in this video, I will go over the best architecture softwares for students and beginners beginners that you can use for under $50 or even free. You won't believe me, but most of these are better than the versions that you pay thousands of dollars for, starting with the most expensive and working our way down to the free software. First up is CAD softwares, and I am starting you off on one of the easiest software to learn. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let me first explain what CAD software is. It stands for Computer Aided Design. Designers and engineers use CAD to develop 2D drawings and 3D models, allowing for easy modification and ideation. When it first came out, CAD was a significant improvement from the manual techniques of hand drawing. But when it comes to picking a CAD software, you have a couple of popular options to choose from. But most of the time, it ends up coming down to what school your software offers. That being said, the best CAD software on the market are definitely AutoCAD, SketchUp, and Rhino. But how do you choose which one is the best for you? When it comes to pricing, AutoCAD is free for students, but that's not the same for Rhino or SketchUp. With SketchUp, you can create general massing and models, as well as you have a lot more flexibility unconstrained to get really creative with the designs that you're creating. In addition, SketchUp's user interface is extremely beginner friendly, and it's as simple as drawing the shapes that you want, pushing and pulling, and you don't really need a degree in computer science to be able to do SketchUp well. SketchUp is fantastic for getting your ideas out fast and making them look good without overwhelming you. So it's perfect for students and just quick projects. SketchUp is great, especially for beginners, but there's a whole nother level of 3D modeling that I haven't told you about. Now to the general audience who might be a little bit confused why there's two types of 3D modeling software. Let me explain. Now we went over CAD, which is computer aided design, and that's what category SketchUp falls into, but there's also a more advanced 3D modeling tool called BIM, which stands for Building Information Modeling. And here are the three main differences between CAD and BIM. Number one is CAD mainly is used in the design phase and Revit manages buildings from start to finish. Plus Revit allows for simultaneous real-time collaboration, while CAD is typically single discipline. Number two is BIM is a lot more intuitive and analytical in terms of the 3D modeling and the collection of data from the model. And no, this isn't collecting your personal information, but more of the information between the walls, the windows, and starting to compile schedules with all the elements within the building. And number three is the level of detail that the modeling components get into. Whenever you draw a wall in SketchUp, it's basically just an extruded rectangle. But when you draw a wall in Revit, it's compiled of multiple layers of different materials that you can customize to fit your project. But when it comes to picking a BIM software, the circumstances are very unique because preferred software might come Come down to where you're located within the world. Vectorworks, RGCAD, Autodesk, Civil 3D, Navisworks, and Revit are the most common. But out of those options, the most applicable software would be RGCAD and Revit. In the United States, Revit is the industry standard for BIM. But now if you're outside of the United States, like Australia or Europe, RGCAD might be a more popular choice of software. The good thing is both RGCAD and Revit are free for students, so you can't go wrong with either. Revit can seem a little advanced, but as a beginner, you only need to know these basics to be successful. Things like modeling walls and windows, being able to set levels and create new floors, creating massing, importing projects between softwares, and also just having a general understanding of how to create families within Revit. But these are all very simple concepts and can easily be found on YouTube. By just knowing the basics, you will already be setting yourself ahead of where I probably was starting out. But next up is one of my favorite parts of architecture, 3D visualization and rendering. Out of all the category of software, rendering software are by far the most competitive. As a beginner, it can be hard to decide on a rendering software. But what you need is something that is easy to learn, has good assets, produces a very good quality output, and integrates well with 3D modeling software so that you're not constantly importing models back and forth. If we were only choosing the best software for beginners, I would definitely say Enscape. But because we are also trying to stay within our budget of $50, 
we have to cut it out. Enscape is the only software out of the main four of Twinmotion, Lumion, and D5 Render where students have to pay. But of the remaining three that offer a free student version, D5 Render provides the best experience for students in their free version. D5's user interface is super easy to learn because they make it so simple. In addition, you have to check out D5's asset library, which allow you to populate the scene with things like trees, furniture, people, and lighting. One of the most important things I look at in a rendering software is how they're thinking into the future. And D5 is on the cutting edge of new tools in the rendering industry. Not only are their features great, but the team does an excellent job of promoting their product on social media and on YouTube, creating tutorials on how to use D5 Render correctly. Plus, they by far have the best AI tools of any rendering software, but I'll get more into AI later on. I could probably talk about D5 Render forever, but for you to truly understand how good it is, let me show you a couple of the renderings I created in D5. Now, if you don't believe me, you can go click on the link in the description and try it out for free yourself. So far, you've learned how to use SketchUp to create quick designs, Revit to level up your 3D models, and D5 Render to bring your projects to life. Next up is an AI tool that will make your life 10 times easier, and here's how. AI has become extremely popular, but it has been hard to find the perfect workflow to use AI in the design process. That being said, some of the rendering softwares have taken advantage of using AI in their new tools. Softwares like D5 Render have led the way in incorporating AI tools into their rendering software workflow. D5 has AI tools that allow you to create PBR textures, adjust the scene lighting based on a reference image, and even AI that helps enhance the final quality of your renderings. In addition, you can use the D5 Text to 3D Image tool to quickly generate 3D assets that you need for your scene using AI. Now the speed and quality of AI can rival any rendering software, but the accuracy can definitely trail behind. So it's best to use AI early on in the design process where everything is more conceptual. But here are some examples of how other AI tools can help you achieve things in the design process. You can turn sketches into renders, use reference images to create more custom designs, and even import screenshots of your 3D model for AI to render. Some alternate AI softwares that you can use are Chrome AI, Render, and Stable Diffusion. But none of these were considered the best choice because they only offer free trials and the main version you have to pay for. So because we're on a budget, that's why D5's AI tools stands out from the rest because it's completely free. But we are still not done yet because the final category is creative tools. This category covers all the miscellaneous work that you might have to get done. For example, editing images, creating mood boards, and creating final project boards. The Adobe suite of Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign is way too expensive. So because we're on a budget, I'm gonna offer you a couple free options as alternatives. Photopea is a free web-based software that provides similar features to allow for high quality editing of renderings and photos. And as a beginner, we don't need to be Picasso. So being able to learn the basics of photo editing using Photopea will be your best option. But if you wanna create a mood board, a portfolio, or even a final project board, your best option is Canva. In fact, Canva can be a lot more intuitive than InDesign in many ways. Canva is super easy and its drag and drop features allow you to easily organize all the things that you need on one page. So let's recap. First, in the CAD software category, we picked SketchUp. It's $55 a year and it's great for simple 3D modeling. Next is BIM software and we chose Revit. Now it's a little bit more advanced, but it's smart and effective for more detailed 3D modeling. And number three, we picked a rendering software. And for this was D5 Render, which allows you to bring your designs to life. For number four, we used AI to quickly design ideas and iterations of unique styles. For number five, for the creative tools, we had Photopea and Canva for post-production and creating stunning presentations. 